Hey everyone, so in this particular video, we'll be talking about hand landmark detection in media pipe. So basically what we are trying to do over here is we are going to have a image of a hand or a video of a hand in which a hand is there or uh, let's say even a live stream and we'll be having to plot certain points as you can see on this particular hand. Okay, so um, for every like uh, there's a tip and there are all this and the knuckle area also and then there is also definitely the thumb so as many movable points are there in a hand that many points are there so in total there are 21 points we will be looking into that okay so that is the entire stuff uh, obviously i have uh, converted or little let's say changed the python code over here in order for us to work with it okay um definitely there are some options that we will see in the code don't worry uh, one of the options is number of hands so in a video there can be more than one hand obviously every human um, every human has two hands by default but uh, so uh, if there are more people you can have four six whatever but uh, the, the thing is that it should be any integer that is greater than zero okay um, all these uh, what to say you are recording uh, all these uh, parameters you can definitely look into it but I will tell you the default is good enough because you know they think you know the people who make these kind of models think a lot before uh, putting the default values okay so um, what happens generally is it is basically this particular model that we will be using it's a bundle of two packaged models one is a palm detector so first obviously in order to detect the uh, hand you need to first detect the palm uh, so obviously if there the inside the whole uh, video let's say if this is the video frame let's say if this is the video frame and the hand is uh, only till oh, whatever over here right so you don't need to consider the whole video you just need to consider over here so it will basically uh, help you to localize the particular uh, region of interest in our case which is the hand okay so one is the palm detection model and the other one once the palm is detected a hands landmark detection model okay so first we detect the hand and then we detect the uh, landmark so this bundle again it contains both these models so the model will be downloaded over here you can hit on this click on this over here and you can download it we'll be using in collab so we'll see how to download it so how um, uh, so when you will have basically the generation when you uh, to say pass in the image to the model you will see 21 points will be generated and uh, these points are basically you can see over here the 0th point will uh, represent this particular uh, area the first point will represent the uh, over here uh, for the thumb and then you can see for the thumb there are so many and then for the this is for the index finger you can see over here that uh, the thumb cmc thumb mcp thumb uh, ip thumb tape and then again for the index finger the sixth fifth one over here you can see the index is already there fifth means index finger mcp whatever that means and sixth is over here this point you can see that is uh, index finger pip then seventh is index finger dip and eighth is index finger tip and so on and so forth you can see over here now one more important thing uh, you know as I said, the model bundle contains uh, two models. One is palm detection and the other is hand mark detection. So uh, as I said, the palm detection is basically used to locate hand within the input image and the second model uh, is basically going to find the landmarks in that particular cropped image. Okay, since uh, you can see this is the important part. Um, what this part is basically saying is that uh, this palm detection model, you know, it's time consuming. It's saying over here, it is time consuming. So what we do is we find the, in the first frame only, if the hand is present, we find the bounding box and then kind of use that only to uh, localize the region of hand so then we don't run palm detection model on every frame but obviously uh, this has to be triggered when the palm uh, if if the um, what to say landmark model is no longer identifies the presence of hand okay so if the landmark model that is the second model is not able to find the hand then again the palm detection model will be run otherwise uh, it will not be run uselessly okay so let's go and see the code simple as that you need to first go and uh, download media pipe that by pip install this is how you download the model the, uh, the code will be there uh, in the github and the link is in the description so you can go and see um, so in this case we'll be basically using the image that was given in the what to say in the documentation and the example is uh, that image is good enough i can show you the image over here so basically uh, you know you can see that uh, if i just uh, refreshes you can see the image is there and i'll show you the image so you again import cv2 and then google patch him show for showing the image and what you can see is i have read the image over here okay i have also found the shape over here and then i'm displaying the image so let's see the image okay so if you look at the image there is a woman and then she has two hands over here you can see 
and this is the entire image there's nothing more than this okay so she's just doing this kind of a pose and we will be trying to detect that so um, uh, again in basic imports media pipe since we are using python so we'll import python from media pipe dot tasks and we are doing a vision task so we will say python from media pipe dot tasks dot python import vision base options again you can see uh, you know uh, you have to first pass in the path of the model over here you can see my master task you can see over here that uh, asset path is there and options you know base options was here so that is the base options over here and number of hands is equal to two as you can see okay and then you create a uh, detector out of it then you pass in the image over here and this will take the image over here and then pass in the image to this uh, detection result okay uh, sorry this detector dot detect this is the model you pass in the image and then you get the detection result over okay? so that is that now let's find a way to interpret that so obviously first what i do generally if if there is something that i you know there's some kind of a, a big library like this then what i do is I, for every variable i try to print the dirt i want to see what are the uh, parameters i can, or uh, let's say the things i can do over here so i can find the hand landmarks i can find hand world landmarks which is basically the same thing as this and as we saw in the last particular video uh, in uh, to say get gesture recognition and handedness is basically left and right okay uh, number of land uh, so what you need to do is uh, we will be using the hand hand landmarks okay so we will be using the hand landmarks so we'll say detection result and then we are going to say hand landmarks and since there are two hands i'm just taking the uh, first one that is uh, index zero so there are again as i said 21 if you remember this particular image there are 21 coordinates okay so there are 21 coordinates here as well so this is again handedness you can see over here handedness is there so i wanted to see the handedness so the first hand is the left hand okay index zero uh, this index i don't know what this means but index zero is basically the index okay score is basically the confidence score so first for the first one it's uh as for the left hand it's 93 percent and uh, for the right hand it's uh, 96 percent which is very good okay now again we read the image over here and now what i want to do over here is to basically um i'm trying to print the fourth one that is the tip of the thumb i want to uh, only uh, have that in my image okay so what i'm doing is i'm uh, basically going in the for loop for even i can remove this if you want over here this is not important i thought i'll be using it but i didn't want to complicate the code further so i just remove it from you so for every um what is hand this is for hand landmarks right so there are two hands so that this will run two times so i want the landmarks for each and every hand now i want the fourth one which is the tip of the what to say so landmarks of four dot x is basically your x coordinate and dot y is basically your y coordinate okay so if you can uh, if you can just uh, you know let me remove this and then let me print four okay so let's see what we get and then we'll be able to understand more clearly so you can see this is uh, this uh, this this entire thing is for the uh, tip of the thumb okay so you can see there is something called as x and there is something called as y now these are normalized why because they are in the range is mine uh, 0 to 1 okay which means now we need to make sure this is converted into the real uh, to say uh, coordinates okay so x coordinate will be basically whatever this is so l n marks l marks of 4 4 is over here whatever the tip of the thumb dot x so you are basically taking 1.57 whatever it is and multiplying it with the width of the image why because over here you, you can see over here I have found the height and width of the image okay so image dot shape over here that I have done right so uh, I need to get back down and uh, yeah so again this is for the x coordinate the real x coordinate again it has to be converted into int so that you know this thing will work and then again y coordinate over here the, the only changes I made from x to y and then from w which is the width again I have to multiply over here the height okay again again take the int and then finally we will uh, draw a circle over here right so since this is two loops of two circles will be drawn so first just image then the coordinate x coordinate y coordinate that we have found in these two lines over here and then the, this is the thickness of the circle so i have also uh, radius of the circle this is five uh, units and the color is basically green you know bgr so blue uh, is zero g that is green is 255 and r is zero again and minus one basically means that the circle will be filled from inside so if you do cb2 dot im show after running this thing this this loop you will see on the tip of the thumb over here you have a green point and here also tip of the thumb you have a green point so basically what we are able what we have been able to do is we have to find we are able to find the tip of the 
thumbs now what if you want other points basically you just need to go over here and instead of four let's say you want five whatever is well, what is five let's see uh, so it is the base of the uh, index finger or index finger mcp so let's do that let's convert it to five let's have this also as five and let's hit shift and enter once you do that hopefully yes you can see you got the base of the index finger here uh, mcp whatever and this is again uh, index finger mcp so again code will be there in the description i hope you like the video if you like the video please like and subscribe thank you very much and bye